Hey guys, today we're going to review the Eero Pro 6E Wi-Fi mesh network. So here is one of the units. We bought a three pack, so you can see the size. It's about uh, five inches, a little over five inches um, in both directions here. So uh, pretty small, low profile unit. It's sitting here right on our table underneath our TV, which is where our modem comes in. So installation for this base unit is very, very simple. All you have to do is unplug your modem. Then you go ahead and plug your ethernet cable into uh, the Eero and then into the modem. And then as well as powering up your Eero system with this uh, plug here and then plugging that into power. This is a USB-C, this is an Ethernet cable, um, and then get your modem plugged back in, and then you are basically set to go. And then you download the app, and then uh, the app will run you through the install and the setup of your home system. So here's the box it came in. Like I said, we got the, uh, the three unit for our house, which is about 2,000 square feet or so. We have one unit in our living room, right here we have another unit upstairs in a bedroom and then one unit actually outside in the garage so we can cover some of our backyard so this is the box it's empty obviously all it comes with is the three units and then this box over here has three of the power cables and that's it one small document on like a quick start guide and it basically just tells you to download the app, and then um, plug it into the modem, like I said. So I'll run through the app real quick. I want to show you some cool things that you can do with this system as far as some controls that it offers, as well as what kind of speeds we're seeing. Okay, so this is the Eero app. Once you get your base unit plugged in and powered up and connected to your modem, you'll come into the app and click this plus sign up here to set up your network. Um, and if, also if you're adding devices and things like that, this is the other place you'll go to. So we have currently three devices. If we wanted to add a fourth, say down in the basement where we're not getting great coverage or something like that, we'd click this plus sign, go to add or replace Eero devices, and then basically just walk through a few steps here. So you can replace the device or add a device. So I'm gonna say add. And then once you have it plugged in, you click this arrow button and it'll search for it. So if you're not sure where to put these things in your house, this uh, placement guide will really help you because you want to have the mesh network really, uh, you know, kind of overlapping a little bit um, and they will walk you through how to do that. So I'll click next here and then this is obviously not going to find anything because I don't have anything new plugged in, but it'll pop up once it does. If it does find something new at your home network and then it will ask you to name it and things like that. So that is how you would add a device. So very, very simple. All right, I'm gonna exit the setup here and come back to the main screen. And then once you add that device, you'll see it added to your list of access points right here in your list, which is really cool. And then the other nice thing that I wanted to show you about this is profiles. So if you have a group of devices that connect to your home network that you want to manage, say you wanna put an internet outage for them. So in our case, we have uh, some gaming devices that we want to limit uh, during the evening or during the day. So we have uh, this profile set up. So we have all the devices added to this profile and then these scheduled pauses are also added. So midnight to 6 p.m. it is gonna be offline as well as 10 p.m. to 6 p.m. during the week, it'll be offline. You can also add some other parental controls here, content filters, blocking apps and websites. Uh, as well as doing some ad blocking. So very nice feature there, very, very handy. I really like that. And then below that, you're gonna see all the devices connected to your home network. And this list can be pretty vast. It'll also kind of group them depending on what type of device it is. So that's kind of cool. And you can also click into those uh, devices and kind of get more information about them. So that is pretty cool. It'll also say what Eero device it is connected to. So this one here is connected to the garage. So if you click on that, you'll see you know, the garage. The one thing that I wish the app did allow you to do is to move a device to a different Eero access point. So this is obviously connected to the garage. And say if I went into the living room, I'd like to manually be able to move that because sometimes it kind of hangs on to an access point once it's connected to it. And I think that's just because my mesh network is 
um, not big enough where y you can move throughout the house without leaving a single access point sometimes. So, but one feature that I would like to see maybe in the future. Another thing that we have is an uh, active subscription to the Eero Plus. So that's a, an additional security and feature kind of thing that comes with the Eero system. So it allows a VPN, it has a password manager, and then it has some advanced security stuff and also some more controls on the network. So I really enjoy having this uh, subscription. I feel like it protects our network very well and then also has some other really nice features. So that is really cool. And then one last thing I wanted to show you before we go is you can test your internet speed from right here in the app. So if you go to the main screen, you click internet, come here and then there's a button at the bottom that says run speed test. I just ran it not too long ago and it says 1.04 gig down, 41 meg up, and then um, that was when it was last ran. So nice little feature there. You can kind of see what kind of speeds you're getting. And this is why we got the Eero 6E Pro edition, just because we had we got the fastest internet speed our internet server service provider has, and it was over a gig, so we wanted to make sure that our Wi-Fi was able to handle those speeds. So very, very happy with how the Eero system handles that. Overall, we've been super happy with the Eero system. The coverage is just great. Speeds are fantastic. And then all of the options that the app allows have been just very, very flexible and also just very convenient. So this is probably the best network um, hardware that I've used. And uh, I definitely, definitely recommend this one. So if you're looking for some uh, an upgrade to your home Wi-Fi system, definitely check out the Eero. Thanks for watching.